Hey everybody, Bill Sack here, your favorite attorney with the Firearms Policy Coalition legal team. Last week, the State Department announced a new round of sanctions against Russia, which included, most notably, that new and pending permit applications for the importation of firearms and ammunition manufactured or located in Russia will be subject to a policy of denial. So why did this happen? What does this mean for the availability of Russian import guns and ammunition? And is your favorite AK now destined to go unfed? Well, first, it's worth noting that a previous round of sanctions already banned the importation of Russian firearms. So the practical effect of this new announcement is that now Russian ammunition is added to the ban from importation list. On its face, the new sanctions were put in place by the State Department as a response to the Novichok nerve agent poisoning of Russian opposition figure Alexei Navalny. The connection, however, between that event and the exportation of ammunition remains unclear. Russian ammunition exportation represents a small fraction of the overall Russian economy, but Russian imported ammunition makes up a significant proportion of the commercially available ammunition here in the States, particularly in the popular Russian calibers like 762x39, 5.45, and 762x54R. The sanctions are set to take formal effect on September 7th of this year and will stay in effect for at least 12 months. The ban can only be lifted if the executive branch determines and certifies to Congress that Russia has met several conditions related to the use of chemical weapons, Russia's allowance of international inspectors to verify those conditions, and Russia's making of restitution to Navalny himself. With the likelihood that Russia meets any of those conditions, and in particular that last one being slim to none, these sanctions are expected to remain in effect for the foreseeable future. Because, however, sanctions such as this are at the sole discretion of the executive branch, a future administration could lift the sanctions if it so chose. So, in the continually bizarro world of current events, it's becoming increasingly difficult for American gun owners to get their hands on AKs and the associated ammunition, while the Taliban has been gifted hundreds of thousands of American select fire M4s and other American small arms. Go figure. I'm Bill Sack, your favorite attorney with the Firearms Policy Coalition legal team.